module 3 actions to prevent covid-19 this module is very important as it will help us understand what's our role in stopping the spread of covid-19 and how we can prevent us and others from being infected by the virus now we will look at how we can prevent the spread of covid-19 in seven steps step number 1 wash your hands frequently Washing hands and maintaining hygiene is the first line of defense against covid. Now let us see what's the correct way to wash hands in the next slide. Wash your hands regularly and frequently with soap for at least 20 seconds. As shown in the picture, wash your hands regularly and frequently with soap for at least 20 seconds in the manner such that all your fingers and both sides of hands are covered. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer in absence of soap and water. Rub over palms, back of hands and fingernails until dry. Step number 2. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Do not touch your eyes, nose or mouth. Hands touch many surfaces and can pick up the virus from there. Once contaminated, hands can transfer the virus to your eyes, nose or mouth. from there the virus can enter the body and make you sick it's important not to touch face and mouth in public or even at home without washing hands as the virus can easily transfer step number 3 cover your cough using the bend of your elbow or a tissue when sneezing or coughing cover the mouth and nose with a bent elbow or tissue Throw the tissue in a closed bin immediately after use and wash your hands. Ideally, use a handkerchief. Move away from people while sneezing or coughing. If you do not have a handkerchief, sneeze into your elbow so that the droplets do not spread in the air or transfer into your hands. Step number 4. Avoid crowded places and close contact with anyone that has fever or cough. It is important to avoid public places as you don't know who is coming from where, who is infected and who is not. Whether or not they are maintaining hygiene. Virus spreads fast in crowded places. Wear masks and maintain 6 feet distance from everyone at all times in public. If you feel unwell, stay at home. It is advised that pregnant women, little children, people with existing health conditions like diabetes, heart and liver problems and old people above 65 years of age stay at home at all times as they are most vulnerable to the virus. And the chances of them being affected are much more than young healthy people. Staying at home is the best mode of protection as it will limit your interaction with those outside immediate immediate family. The virus spreads in close contact and people with symptoms are most contagious. This measure is aimed at trying to cut down the amount of virus spreading around and ultimately protect the most vulnerable including the elderly and people with weak immune systems. Now let us look at a video to understand the do's and don'ts to keep you safe from COVID-19.
Step number 6. If you have fever, cough and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early but call first. See a doctor if you feel unwell, that is if you have fever, difficult breathing and cough. While visiting doctor, wear a mask or cover your mouth and nose with a cloth. If you have these signs or symptoms, please call state helpline number or Ministry of Health and Family Welfare's 24 by 7 helpline as shown in the slide. Step number 7. Get information from trusted sources. It is important to not spread fake news. Now let us look at a video to debunk more myths to understand the reality of COVID better. First of all, do not panic. If you have had close physical contact with the COVID-19 patient or had visited to a public place, self-isolate yourself for 14 days. Keep 
a check on severity of symptoms if they increase call a doctor if symptoms develop further testing may be required contact the nearest asha worker or anm they will get you tested after taking you to the nearest health center the asha workers and anms know how to take it forward and what to be done next the don'ts do not visit any hospital directly some more points to be kept in mind do not visit any hospital directly call ministry's 24 by 7 helpline number as shown in this slide the district surveillance officer will visit you and may get you transported to a designated hospital for tests if chances of infection are high separate ambulances are there for transporting suspected cases avoid public transport after taking samples doctors at the hospitals will assess your condition if hospitalization is not required you may be advised to stay isolated at home if test results are positive you may require to remain quarantined for at least 14 days or until recovery as shown in the picture you can also call to the toll free number 1075 you can also call to the toll free number 1075 which is set up by the ministry of health and family welfare if you have fever cough or difficulty in breathing report early and gather help arogya setu is designed to keep track of other app users that a person comes in contact with it then alerts the app users if any of the contacts test positive for covid-19 the app uses the phone's bluetooth and gps capabilities and it is available in 11 languages most importantly you have to quarantine you need to stay indoors and avoid contact with other people as much as you can we will now watch an animation to sum up all that we have learned in this module various do's and don'ts and how to maintain hygiene Thank you for watching this video. In module 4, we will look at what are the various testing methods available 
and what's the upcoming technology in India and world which is coming to fight the COVID-19.